check. Let's start getting the 40s and the 30s. See, but this is a part of the sacrifice. Anyway, let me read Psalms 37, verse um, 37. It says, Cleave unto him that is wise. And it also written in Psalms 37, verse 37. And you so-called scholars and theologians, you guys are not wise, man. You guys are damn educated fools, man. Okay, that's exactly what y'all are, man. With y'all pseudo degrees. Okay? Most I ain't dealing with that, man. Where in the scriptures is that, man? Where did the apostles or the prophets had to go to some um, seminary school to get the understanding of the Bible? Dionysus, that's not in the Bible, man. Okay? The Most High himself have to give you that spirit to even hear what we're saying. Okay? Even if you're given the Bible or not, if the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, understanding, the Holy Spirit is not upon you, you can't receive this, man. You can't suck. Okay? You can't even bite this, man. You can't digest this at all, man. And that's two-thirds of Israel. Okay? Two-thirds of our people. They're blinded, man. Soon to be destroyed. You read this. Psalms 37, verse 37. It says, um... Psalms 37, 37. It says, Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright. For the end of that man is peace. Which meaning... Are we physically perfect as far as keeping all the laws? No, man. We're perfect in understanding, man. That's what Yahweh Shah said. Be perfect in heaven like your father. Meaning the Bible, man. Having all the, um, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. Being able to break down the parables of the scriptures, man. That's how that man is perfect. That's how we're going to be made perfect. Perfect in understanding, man. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Not in keeping all the laws. Okay, for them other groups out there talking about it's all about the law, man. First, it's all about the law that none, none, none of Israel would make it. Okay? So that in itself, that's a heresy. And really, when, when the men teach that, they're taking away glory from the Messiah. Yahweh Shai is our help, man. Yahweh Shai is our perfection. Matter of fact, let's prove it. Philippians chapter 3, verse 9. chapter 3 verse 9 It says, um, if you want to read further up. Um, now, let's read further up. Philippians chapter 3, verse 4. Verse 3, man. I'm going to cut down that now. So Philippians 3, 3. For we are the circumcision which worship the Most High in spirit. And rejoice in Yahweh Shah and Mashiach. Have no confidence in the flesh. We don't have confidence in the flesh. None of us. Because the flesh is evil, man. The scripture says the heart is deceitful above all things. Who can know it? Meaning your mind, man. Okay? You always have impure thoughts. You always got to keep battling. You always got to constantly keep praying, studying, fighting on a day to day basis. You can't have confidence in the flesh, man. Though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any other man thinketh that he hath whereof, he might trust in the flesh, I mourn. The Apostle Paul speaking. He says, circumcised the eighth day 
of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, so-called, you'd be a so-called um, West Indian today. The Apostle Paul, man. And Hebrew of the Hebrews. So Paul said, I'm a Hebrew of the Hebrews, man. Meaning that he was zealous for that law, man. He was on a whole nother level when it came to that law, man. But even he said at the end of the day, he couldn't justify, couldn't boast in the flesh. As touching the law, a Pharisee. What's a Pharisee? A doctor of the law. Concerning zeal, per persecuting the church, touching the righteousness, which is in the law, blameless. So he said, concerning the law, I was blameless, but I was persecuting the church. I was kicking against the pricks. And no matter how much of laws you keep, if you reject it, how it shine, then you're already condemned. But what things were gained to me? Those I counted lost for the Mashiach or the Christ. All was done. Yea, doubtless I count all things but laws for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, my Lord. For I suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dumb, that I may win the Christ of the Mashiach. And be found in him, not having my own righteousness. And that's the point. We can't boast in our own righteousness, which is of the law. See? So that cuts that, man. A lot of dudes, they boast in their own righteousness, man. And according to the scriptures, if you break one, you break them all. So our hope is in the, the Messiah, man. It says, um, my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith, and in Mashiach, the righteousness, which is of the Most High, by faith. So the main way you're going to be saved is what? By faith. Like I said, if you don't have faith, pray for it. And the way you're going to get faith, too, Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Romans chapter 10, verse 17. scriptures man basic basic precepts being brought out okay before I hit the major topics man Romans 10 17 so then faith coming by hearing and hearing the word of the most high how do you get faith by hearing you gotta hear man but like you read further up verse 13 for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved a lot of Christians, a lot of you unlearned buffoons, you quote this, talk, think it's talking about everybody. Let's get proper understanding. Let's read verse 1. Romans 10 and 1. Romans 10 and 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and pray to the Most High, for Israel is that they might be saved. Okay, so we understand how many Israelites are going to be saved. So let's read verse 13 again. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The Israelites. I just read verse 1. So there's no confusion concerning that. How then shall they call on him who they, whom shall they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Another word for preacher, let's look it up, is a prophet. Let's, let's see if they, um, Strong's G. Look up the word there.
music of the word there for preacher it's another part of the truth is looking up words man word there for preacher is strong's g 2784 Okay, it's another word. It's a uh, Caruso. To be herald, to officiate as herald, to proclaim after the manner of herald, uh, to publish, proclaim openly something which was done. Use of a public proclamation of the gospel and the matters pertaining to it. Okay? That's not the word I wanted. But it says what? Proclaim, publish. Um, public proclamation. Oh. Let's go. It didn't say private proclamation. It says public proclamation, man. Okay, so you got to come out here in public. Those are the preachers, not them uh, pork eating devils that you go to on Sunday that teach in private in some temple, man. The temple is the people, man. The temple is the elect, also known as the house of David. So this is a public proclamation. Okay? You gotta publicly declare it, or profess it, or teach. You gotta be made what? A spectacle unto men. In 1 Corinthians 1 and 4, and then I'm gonna jump to the topic. A preacher is a, one that pro, um, publicly proclaims this. And the way you got to do it is on the streets. Okay? So you theologians and uh, you so-called preachers, the Lord ain't dealing with y'all. Wow, my Bible don't have that page. See? So we actually study, man. The scriptures, the Bible missing pages, man. First Corinthians chapter 1, verse 4. Chapter 4, verse 9. It says, For I think that the Most High has set forth us the apostles last. So the Most High set up the apostles last. You had a lot of uh, different so-called groups of our people that came early in, in the early 1900s. The commandment keepers, the Moors, the nation of Islam, um, the five percenters, Sim saying, the so-called Panthers, Black Panthers. Okay, so-called Pan-Africanists, Egyptologists. We ain't dealing with none of that, man. You said what? Well, I think that the Most High has set forth the apostles last. So he set up the apostles last, the best for last, man. And you've seen in all the different debates in times past, nobody could come up against the Israelites, man. Whether we're dealing with them other groups or not, or whether we're dealing with them Old Testament Israelites, all you guys got smashed. Said he polite. It don't matter, man. Now you Christians, you're, you're, you're up next, man. All right? Because the Most High is only dealing with what? Oh, I forgot to get that in John the fourth chapter. So I think the Most High set up forth the apostles last as we're appointed to death. We are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to, to men. So made a spectacle or gazing stock. Because we're out here in the public. How can you be made a gaze and stock behind closed doors? And that's easy, man. One of the, si the sifting tools the Most High use is by coming out here on the streets. Because that's a sacrifice in itself. A lot of Jews can't do that or bear it for too long, so they end up falling out. Because they're ashamed of Yahweh Shai. They're ashamed of the cross, man. Because they're they, they scared to be looked at a certain way. But the scripture says what? We'll read it again. 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 9. For I think that the Most High has sent forth us, the apostles, alas, as we were appointed to death. We have made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and unto men. So we made a spectacle, a gazing stock, to the world, man. To men, and the scripture says, some have entertained angels unaware. Okay? 
So everybody's looking at us, man. Everybody, the spiritual realm and the physical realm, man. Because this is the highest calling. Highest calling in the universe, man. Period. This is a great calling, man. To prove that. That first Peter chapter 1 verse 12 to prove that this is the highest calling. Another scripture I'm gonna line up after this. So a lot of brothers, man, you gotta stand, this is a gift. This is a supreme gift. This gift was given to you. So you gotta cherish it. First Peter chapter 1 verse 12 so-called scholars and theologians, which I'm going to get on in next, they don't got the gift, man. Y'all don't got the spirit of understanding, no way. Alright? 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 12. Unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves, but unto us did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Spirit sent down from heaven. Which things the angels desire to look unto. Man. Wow, that's powerful. Read that precept again. First Peter chapter 1, verse 12. It says, Unto whom it was revealed that unto themselves, but unto us they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Spirit sent down from heaven. Which things the angels desire to look into. The angels desire to look into what we do. Because the angels, they don't know how it is to be in the flesh. The temptations and the battles and the struggles. Yahweh Shai did because he came down and he had to deal with that. And he got put to death. He got resurrected. So the angels desire to, to look into the things that we go through. Man. But they can't. You see what I'm saying? So we're blessed, man. We're those angels that kept not their first estate. And Lord willing, I'm talking as one of the hopeful elect because you got to believe that you are the elect, man. You got to believe that, man. Okay? One point of faith is what? Believing, man. The hope and the possibility. It says, Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober and hope to the end of grace that is brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Okay, so we all what? This is a period of grace. This is a time period for you to get your act together. Grace is not what they teach in church. You to eat pork, shrimp, crab, to be a homosexual adulterer. All you gotta do is believe in Jesus. That's not what grace is. Grace is just a time period for you to get right before the second coming. Man. Most High is giving you time to practice, man. And the main test is coming. Okay, like I talked about before, the hour of temptation. Martial art, the hard fight, Egypt, the race riots, World War III. Okay, all these things are about to come to pass, man. All the things that we've been studying and learning, we got to apply it in those evil times, man. Because these people out here, they don't know what's going on. Even though America's falling right before their very eyes, they can't see it. They too busy getting caught up in what? Christmas. Some white guy flying in the heavens and giving your children gifts, man. But they look at us like we're crazy. And that's what they teach their children. That's what the Bible says, what? Folly is set in great dignity, man. Foolishness, man. Foolishness, man. You see what I'm saying? Foolishness is held in high regard in America. That's why this place is called Babylon. See what I'm saying? Babel or what? Confusion, man. Because everything that's abnormal is normal in this place, man. <laughs> and that proves that we're living in the latter end. That's all that proves. Okay? 
wickedness is just on a high level. The left hand is on an extremely high level. That left hand energy, they pushing that heavy, man. Because the scripture says the devil know that he have what? What? A short time. The elites of this society know that this place is going down, man. What was the nationality? Huh?